Side front row, position two. Barry Graham from three. An American captain. Rodney Combs from position number four. Ready for start, heat number one. Moran, the 23-year-old, success story of American racing this year, or at least in 1985, off the top turn, coming for a start. They have the green, the test match is underway, and Walter Giles wins the start. Walter Giles, turn number one for Australia, goes to the back straight away in front. The Americans running second and third, and Barry Graham is tailing out. Please, Walter, keep it straight. Stay in front. Giles comes onto the main straight away, still in front with one lap down and three to go. Walter Giles from Hazelbrook in the Blue Mountains overdoes it in the top turn. He's passed but comes back onto the circuit. Dropping back into third place, the Americans running first and second. Giles tries to come back as they come to the straightaway at the halfway mark. Donnie Moran now leads, that's three points. Running in second spot is Rodney Combs. That'll be two and one point for Australia. If Walter Giles stays in third. The white flag coming out this time around. There's one lap from home. Combs holding on to second spot, the race leader remains. Donnie Moran in car number four. Moran gets out of shape going on to the back straight away, but straightens up long enough to find his way to turn number three. It'll be one, two for the United States at the completion of heat one, unless Walter Giles can come through. No, nope, first heat goes to Donnie Moran of the United States. Donnie Moran home first in car number four, the American captain, Rodney Combs second in car number one, Walter Giles, a sterling effort, first time he's ever driven on a track that small, comes home for third, now 5-1, the United States, green flag at the ready, heat number two about to get underway, come on Cookie, the chauffeur of the TAA Avanti 41 car. No start. Ray Gotzi was very slow to move up. Gene Cook loves to sweep into the first corner. If he does it on this tighter track, he'll wipe a lot of them out. Yeah. One of the most consistent good drivers yeah. the sports produce. Gene Cook races at Bathurst in the James Hardy 1000. He just loves his speedway. He's been driving since 1969. Hope he's in form tonight. Off the top turn, they've got the green. Ray Godsey goes quickly to turn number one. Godsey in front, Cook in two. Running three is Brightville and tailing out Paul O'Neill. Godsey loves driving on these small tracks. And he has the lead as they come up the home straight away. Ray Godsey leads to the back straight away. Gene Cook in second, Kenny Brightville third and tailing out Paul O'Neill. Once more to the home straight, Cook slowed a little left. Now has Kenny Brightbill chasing him. Brightbill looking for the inside pass. Not this time. White flag out with one lap to go. Starting the final lap. With Ray Gotzi heading out. Gene Cook of Tasmania running in third spot. Kenny Brightbill. Well, the Americans picking up big points in the opening heats. Second heat going to Ray Gotzi. Picks up three points. Gene Cook two. Kenny Brightbill one. O'Neill would love to get a bit of acceleration off the outside line. He's got Combs, a small track specialist inside. They move up the straightaway. We have a start. Combs wins the jump. Gene Cook was keen to go on with it as they go to the back straightaway. Paul O'Neill in second place, but Gene Cook wants to go past him and go chase the leader. Combs is still in front as they come off the top turn. Combs leads going on to the back straightaway. The Australians running in second and third. That at least will keep the points level pegging. Once more off the top turn and to the straightaway. Gene Cook looking for a pass on Paul O'Neill. Obviously feels he can do better with the race leader. But Rodney Combs has gone for the doctor in car number one. He's off the top turn and coming to the home straightaway with one lap to go.
Running down the back chute. Rodney Combs, the American captain, will pick up three. And Australia's Paul O'Neill, Gene Cook, will pick up second and third. There's the check and flag. Three points apiece out of that heat. Rodney Combs of the United States picking up the three points for first. Second, Paul O'Neill, and third, Gene Cook.